in this video here, I'm just going to give a quick overview of selecting the correct UHF aerial to work with the new Serview Digital Terrestrial Service in Ireland, okay? So we just give you a quick overview of the system here. Uh, what we have on the table here is just um, a range of di different um, MPEG-4 high-definition digital terrestrial receivers that we sell on the tvtrade.ie website. Um, so uh, you can just see here, we actually have um, RT2 in high definition here. So uh, we'd use this receiver here, both which, by the way, have media players built in, uh, in conjunction with an input. Uh, I have to receive an input, and what, what's getting the input from would be a UHF aerial. So just in front of me here quickly, what we have initially here is, I'll just do a quick tilt here, is a UHF aerial here, okay? And uh, this is a 10 element here. And I'm just going to rotate it around so you can see the tip on the end of it. And it's, it's a black tip aerial, and this means it's wideband. So it covers the entire UHF spectrum. So there's three main advantages to this using this particular aerial. And it's what we provide as standard with all of our kits. Okay? Number one is it's a relatively low cost item. Number two is it, it's, um, it works um, extremely well. It gives good gain and things like that. And number three is because it's wideband, it will cover the entire UHF spectrum. So you don't need, if you're not quite certain which transmitter you're going to use it with, if you buy this aerial and you work in a reasonable uh, TV reception area, this will definitely work for you. Okay, now to step up from there, and particularly ideal for people who aren't, once again, aren't sure what transmitter they're going to use and fear they're going to be in a bad reception area, if we just rotate this around to here. Okay, this is called a grid UHF aerial. It's about three to four times the price of this other aerial here, but it has the advantage that it has a huge gain and the grid on the back uh, deflects away the signal. So if you have a lot of interference in your area, this will work well. This will give a high gain. Um, it's probably the best area you can buy for this particular job, um, but the, the disadvantage is the cost and it's also a little bit more bulky and unsightly, okay? So de definitely the, the cheaper first area is the one that would sell the most, um, but in certain circumstances, th these grid area here can be very good. Now, the alternative then, if you know exactly what type of area you need is, you can go for a low cost option that will give you a high gain, and that's by going for a color coded aerial. So what you'll find out is that the UHF spectrum is broken into uh, three bands, okay, uh, that, that we would sell areas for, okay. And the first one would be at the bottom of the UHF spectrum, uh, group A, you'd have uh, this uh, red tipped aerial there, okay. Uh, then we'd move up from there into group B, which would be the yellow tipped, which would cover the mid-spectrum uh, UHF bands. And then we'd have a green tip here, which would cover uh, the top end of the UHF spectrum, all the way up to channel number 68, okay? And uh, as part of this, to help people in this guidance here, it, it, uh, on one section on the tvtrade.ie website, we actually have a color-coded digital map of Ireland showing the transmitters. So the transmitters between the analog and the digital are identical. They're simply broadcasting in both modes right now. But of course the analog will be turned off at the end of 2012, not just in Ireland, but right across Europe, okay? And we can see here that we have um, along the east coast, it's all green tipped. Along the midlands and down the center of Leinster, it's all yellow. On the west coast of Ireland, it's mainly green. And down in Cork and the extreme north of Donegal, it's red tipped. So in those particular areas, you could of course come along and use a, um, uh, a wideband aerial, but if you if you were sure of the transmitter that you're going to be using, you could use green tipped. Now it's slightly complicated by the fact that there's a number of substations that we don't show on this thing here, but, and it slightly confuses the situation. But these are the main transmitters that we have in Ireland. So unless you're in a very bad reception area, undoubtedly mo the vast majority of people will be picking up from one of these transmitters. So hopefully, anyway, that gives you an overview of it. Um, you know, all the aerials that we sell on TVTrade.ie are digital compliant.